I'm John Bro, and this is the commentary for the Riddle School 4 ending, because I wanted to balloon the file size and make it look like the same size as Riddle School 3 or something similar. 
Um, I wanted to make a commentary just because it seemed like it would be a funny idea to have for the game because most of the game is a movie. And I figured I would have to make a commentary better than the one for Pain on the Brain 3 because that one sucked. I already had it in my mind that Phil should die in Riddle School 4 because I got so sick of requests for a fourth Riddle School game. Um... And I, I started one before called Riddle University, but it wasn't going to be very good. I only had planned the first room, which is the one that's seen in Riddle School 4. And I think it was just ripping off of the idea of another game where you had to make a fishing pole out of basic objects like a pencil and a string. I don't remember exactly. So my friend Yoshi Egg came over. He, did, uh, he was the other voice in the Paint on the Brain 3 commentary, and I said, I'm going to make Riddle School 4 tonight. And he's like, all right. So I started with that room, and I started animating Phil falling to his death in a lava pit. There were several ways he could have died, but we figured that was the funniest and the easiest to make. And one of my computers is a flash computer, and one of them is an internet computer, so I have to use the flash drive to go between the two. So I went to Yoshi Egg, who was on the internet computer playing RuneScape, and I said, Hey, can I use the computer for a second? I need to find some sad music for when Phil dies. <laughs> It was funny. He said I could never imitate exactly how I sounded whenever I said that, but I tried, so... Um, and one night, this game was born, mostly this movie, and we laughed our heads off watching the ending. Well, that's really about it, I need to think of more to say. The real reason I made this game was because I wanted to see the reaction on Newgrounds. When I was starting to make the first game out of the series, I wasn't picturing at all that I would ever make something like this. I was just trying to make a ripoff of Pico's School by Tom Fulp. And now it's a four-parter where he dies. <laughs> this is the best game ever. This is my favorite of the whole series, and it always will be. I'm going to try to scream like Phil again. No, that's not quite it. Oh, well. As you will immediately be able to tell by my voice, this was not recorded at the same time as the other developer commentary. This was recorded 10 years later. I am 26 years old now. I go by Jonachrome instead of John Bro, And it's the year 2020, which is the same year that I decided to make legacy editions for each game in the Riddle School series, partly to preserve them for after Flash player dies, but also because I wanted to make little improvements to each game. And as far as non-gameplay related changes go, the ending text of Riddle School 4 is among the bigger changes that I decided to make in the series. I mostly wanted to keep these pretty authentic to the way that they were, but this was one exception because I was thinking of ways that I wanted to change this particular game, and I knew that I wasn't going to make it longer because one of the things that I like about it is that you click once and then Phil dies, and that's the entire thing. Um, partly because I don't want to make another school escape game, partly because it ties in very closely with the story of Riddle School 5, and also because I feel like, in retrospect, the bizarrely out-of-place nature of this game is part of what makes the series stand out, and this is like the dividing line between what the series was and what it became. So I think it's kind of special in that way. But... I did want to change the ending because it's out of place in a different way. I thought the overly meta nature of speaking directly to the audience was something that really only made sense at the time that it was released, because it was released on April 1st of 2010, as you know, April Fool's Day, and the whole joke was this is the anticlimactic ending to the series, there's not going to be more games after this, and the next day I released Riddle School 5 because I already had that in mind. So, the joke doesn't really hold water anymore now that we all know the series goes beyond this. And I figured, I'm gonna 
I'm going to edit this to no longer be such a direct message to the audience. I want this to instead be something that leads into the next game because I know what the story of the next game is at this point, and everyone knows that it exists. So that's pretty much the long and the short of it. It's interesting looking back and making these changes and just kind of hoping people approve of them because I don't know if they will or not, but there you go. Thanks for listening. You beat the game in zero seconds.